Now, for years, global warming extremists and some academics have claimed that global warming is destroying the Great Barrier Reef. I'm talking about people like Professor Terry Hughes. It's very confronting to see a beautiful coral reef with 80% plus of its corals bleach, because when that level of bleaching occurs, you're looking at 50% or more mortality. Now, that was so misleading, because even the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority said at the time the damage from bleaching that year was not 80%, not it was 22%, and three-quarters of that would recover in a few months. But here's the thing. It is actually very rare for alarmists in the media to be corrected. And one reason for that is what happens when they do. And I'm not just talking about sliming on social media. Professor Peter Ridd tried to correct people like Terry Hughes and others. And when he did, he was sacked by James Cook University. Sacked for saying things like this. We can no longer trust the scientific organisations like the Australian Institute of Marine Science, even things like the ARC Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies. A lot of this is stuff is coming out, which the science is coming out, not properly checked, tested or replicated. Now, in April this year, good news, a federal court judge ruled that the university had acted wrongly in sacking Reid. Demanded it pay him a lot of compensation, more than a million dollars. But now James Cook University is appealing that decision, forcing Reid to raise an extra $1.5 million for his legal costs. Joining me now is Dr Peter Reid. Peter, thank you so much for your time. What do you make of James Cook University deciding to appeal that decision? Well, in many regards, you know, this is not just a, a climate change thing. The uh, farmers are also accused of killing the Great Barrier Reef. And in many regards, this is an insult to the people and farmers of North Queensland because here was me saying, well, maybe the farmers are not killing the reef. And James Cook University decided to fire me for saying these things. So you just got to wonder whether the university is actually is on the side of the truth and of the people of North Queensland as well. It's almost beyond whether it's on the side of truth, whether it's on the side of an open, intellectual, honest debate about something of critical national importance. So I just wonder, you know, what, what does this say about free speech in our universities, that the university is going to these lengths, not just to sack you, but to stop you from being reinstated? Exactly. I mean, if effectively, there is no academic freedom. Um, we have the Federal Education Minister who is very keen to try to get some uh, freedom of speech to academics um, like myself, but of course he's up against uh, universities like James Cook University and in fact many others who actually just want to crush it. And, uh, and this is an insult to everybody, I think, because we all know what a university should do, it's just that they don't do that. But what does it say, you, you, we're, we're talking here about the general principle our universities should encourage debate, particularly on matters of great national importance. The other point here specifically about climate change, global warming, what does it say about the danger of academics who question some of the scares made by academics pushing that cause? Well, they know exactly what will happen. They'll look at me. I mean, even if I win the appeal, right, which we think we will do, um, the message that goes to all other academics is, well, you know, if you, if you can win the first round and, and get a lot of money from the public and then get even more ridiculous amount of money for the public to, to get the appeal, you might win, but you won't get your job back. And, you know, really it's a hopeless situation. So all other academics look at this and think, I will just not go anywhere near the cliff edge that, that I went to. I think it is shocking that it... This is the point. It has a chilling effect, not just on you, but on, but on every academic. Mm. Uh, I think that is just frightening for our reputation as a centre of uh, education, as we uh, purport to be for Asia, for instance. Now, given it is such an attack on academic freedom, uh, how much support have you had? Uh, well, from the public, huge support. I mean, um, the money's pouring in at the moment, actually, but... Um, but even from a lot of academics at James Cook University, they'll privately say to me, look, we're, I, I just met, met one at the airport just today, and he said, look, the, people, the academics at JCU are right behind you, but we know that if we speak that we will be fired as well. Um, so that's the situation we've got to. The universities are, are turning into something not much different to a totalitarian regime.
No, I think that's what a lot of people who say, well, look, uh, the debate is all one way on global warming, I've got to go with the majority view. They have to know that those academics who do want to question these things face being sacked, and many don't have your courage. Now, to fight this case, I said uh, $1.5 million is what you're after uh, for your legal expenses. Um, how can people donate? Uh, there's a GoFundMe. If you just Google Peter Reid GoFundMe, you should be able to find it. And finally, Peter, I mean, we've been talking to you uh, on Sky for some time about this uh, battle. It must be very draining on you. You've had your reputation uh, attacked. You've had your job taken away from you. You've been put to expense. I know people have chipped in to help you uh, a fair bit and good on them. Why do you keep fighting? Well, at the moment, there's just no choice. Um, but originally, it was just because it just annoyed me when all this evidence and science was coming out, which was clearly wrong. And, you know, I just couldn't say... I just couldn't be quiet about that. And that's really what got me into trouble. But now it's just... There's no choice but to keep on going. Peter Reid, all strength to you. You're a shining example. And uh, I tell you what, it is you who are standing up for academic tradition, academic uh, freedom, academic... The, the things that make universities important is you that are standing up for them and not the university that so shamefully sacked you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks very much.